So I'm going to tell you how do I uh, shape and trim my eyebrow. I used to do threading but the thing with threading is most of the time the beautician would cut me with the thread. So I normally would get cut here. It's just the more softer part of my skin and it kind of gives a burning sensation. So I've decided uh, not to thread my go for threading and rather do it on my own which is uh, far more economical and I don't break out because I have sensitive skin with threading what it happens is the pores gets open and can then later it gets clogged so I do break out especially around here where the hair gets pulled off so this is my disposable eyebrow trimmer you can also use the battery operator one but the thing with the battery operator one is sometimes I tend to take off too much and so this portion would be sometimes thicker and the other one would be thinner so it's not in line I've been doing this for every two weeks so I kind of already understand the natural shape of my eyebrow so I know how to work with it so what you do is you take this eyebrow trimmer and you place it at the edge of your nose to the end of the eyebrow and that is where um, we're gonna find where the arc is gonna be when you look directly in the mirror you place it at the side of your pupil and that's where the arc is gonna be over here so this is where you're gonna arc it and then what you do is you take your uh, eyebrow trimmer, these are disposable ones. You can also have the battery operated one if you like. And you gotta shape it down first. You can remove some of the excess, shave off some of the excess hair here. And then uh, this is where the arc is, this is where the arc is. So what I do is I would just shave down here. And, and then I would shave down over here. And... What I do is, I would since um, I'm a lefty, so I have difficulty using right-handed items, so I gotta use it to to my convenience, so it's gonna be different from a right-hander. So what I do is, I would shave it upwards to remove some of the fine hair over here, and sometimes over here. So that's how I shape it, and then once that's done, um, you need this kind of uh, trimming scissors, eyebrow trimming scissors. And I would place my index finger here and I would just cut it down diagonally. So, because there will be some, uh, it will be growing, the length will be slightly longer. And I just trim it down so that it makes a nice straight line. And that's how I trim my eyebrow every, um, I trim it like every fortnight. And that is the best way I've found so far where I don't break out and... Um, I don't really need to go through the pain of threading because I really fear whenever the beautician is going to come to this portion I would be saying my Hail Marys and Our Fathers because it's pretty painful for me and the other thing for the rest of my facial hair I do have some facial hair over here and below the chin when the beautician used to put this uh, wax and whenever she strips it off I do get um my skin does get pulled off because it's pretty sensitive so there will be a patch here the next day and I got to put Vaseline on because it might sting a bit. And over here, once she pulls off the uh, wax strip, there will be like some stubborn coarse fine hair under the chin and then she will start threading it and when she starts threading it, she cuts me with the thread. And I'll go home, after my threading section, I normally go home with, you know, a wound here or a wound here or a wound here and I think that's like... I'm paying money to get hurt so I would sometimes use uh, wax strips to uh, wax off the fine facial hair below and the best way though that I find not to cut myself or to break out is once um, I've waxed it sometimes if I have time I wax it otherwise I just trim it off because I don't have much uh, facial hair above here but over here once it's waxed um, there will be some stubborn hair so the best thing that to use is a tweezer because when I use a tweezer I notice that my hair growth is finer as compared to when I wax because when I wax I don't think I'm doing the right way so most of the hair doesn't get uh, pulled out from the root what happens is it kind of breaks on the surface so when it grows again it's um, thicker it's as if I shaved it so those are my tips on how I uh, shape my eyebrow without treading no waxing just uh, treading, just shaving and trimming my eyebrow and 
uh, tweezing off uh, facial hair. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.